What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Roblox video. Today we are going to be playing this Jester story game as George Piggy. Oh my gosh, look, another George Piggy. Well, I guess this game is just made for George Piggy. So apparently there's some kind of mystical being that is out for revenge. So I don't know why we're taking a trip to wherever the heck we're going, but I'm really excited. So, hey, George Piggy, are you ready, dude? Why do you look more buff than me, man? Look, you guys, I got like regular flimsy arms. And George Piggy over here actually has some kind of like definition in his arms. I think he's been lifting weights. Oh, you guys are, get out of my way. There's so many people. Okay, guys, we gotta wait for the bus. We can hold 20 of them. So I think we can all fit. Everybody follow me. Let's get on the bus before it loads up right now. Everybody follow George Piggy. Even George Piggy number two can join. Okay, there we go. Everyone's already on the bus. That was really quick. I hope you guys are ready for this. If you are, make sure to smack the like button because we're going out here in another story game as George Pig and hopefully we can survive George Pig I hope that you know how to drive that bus I don't know if he even has his driver's license let alone a bus driver's license we're gonna crash why are we in school again I feel like we always go to school yep the bell's ringing okay guys here we go Oh, let's see here. Are we missing anybody? No? Okay, great. Sir Longneck? Wait, what? His name's Sir Longneck. Bro, that neck is so long. Now, students, have you all recently- Wait, what? I didn't even get to read that. Why would we want to bore ourselves to death, Sir Longneck? Okay, so I think he's asking us if we read some kind of assignment or something in a book. Well, you would be surprised. Let me tell you a few things. Legend has it, this was once the very site of a grand kingdom, until it fell into the hands of evil. You see, there was once a jester named Jovial. You see, he got tired of amusing the king. It turns out he was an all-powerful being. If I was powerful, I wouldn't be some rich king's court jester. Duh. Well, this jester took it upon himself to overthrow the king, but the king had three of his- Hey, I didn't even get to read that! It's going away so fast. I hate when they do that, Sir Longneck. You are talking so fast, dude. Honestly, I don't even care what you have to say right now because I can't even read what you're saying. And your neck is so long. Why are there so many people crowding around us? I think we're about to beat Sir Longneck up. No, leave him alone. Oh, here we go. Look at George Piggy driving the bus. Why is Sir Longneck not driving the bus? But we get, we make George Pig drive? Okay, students. We're nearing our camp. Who's excited? I mean, I'm kind of excited. Uh, uh oh, Sir Longneck, look behind you. Oh, uh, Mr. Longneck, what is that behind you? I'm scared. You guys, that's a creepy clown face. Now, no need to be afraid. What are you talking about? He was breathing down his long neck. That's what the clown face was doing. And I think we just crashed the bus. I wonder why. Probably because George Pig was driving it. I told you guys we were going to crash. Did you see that creepy black shadow behind you, mister? I mean, come on. He's got eyes in the back of that neck. Oh, now, now. You all are just pulling at my neck. There was no spooky, scary, creepy creature anyways. Uh, well then. Explain the broken wheel on the bus. What happened? I'll tell you guys what happened. George Pig was behind the wheel. Oh my, must have been a very big squirrel. Well, no matter, we are here at the ruins. A big squirrel, what? What are you talking about? We won't let this little accident ruin our, our school trip, right? All right, well, we're going to the ruins. Whoa, you guys, look at that castle. Dude, I'm trying to go in there. Mr. Longneck, let me climb up your long neck and go up to the castle. I think it will reach. <laughs> okay, students, here we are. The entrance to the ruins. Doesn't it just bring a tear to your face? All the history, it's magnificent. Yeah, it sure is a magnificent pile of rocks and dust. Oh, now settle down, rainbow sprinkles. Wait until you see the centuries of artifacts that lie within. But, sir, we're hungry and tired. Can't we hang out for the night? But, sir, long neck, Mr. Sir, uh, it says do not enter. Are you sure we're supposed to be going in here? Oh, great. Okay, guys, we got to get these flashlights, apparently. Give me the flashlight. Okay, I got it. I got it equipped. George Piggy is ready for the cave. Wait, no, you guys, we're supposed to go to the campsite. Aren't we supposed to go over here? <laughs> sir, long neck's not even with us anymore. I'm kind of scared. 
Okay, well, no one's even over here, and we only have like 15 seconds, dude. Please don't kill us, Mr. Longneck. Let us get these resources. Where are they? Do you guys have them? What does she have? She's got a water bottle. Nope, we're probably gonna die, you guys. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Go to sleep for the night. Oh, I guess we didn't die. Okay, this looks like George Pig's tent over here, so I'm just gonna crawl in here. Good night, everybody. Hey, I don't think that we're all gonna fit in this tent, okay? Let me get my beauty rest. George Piggy is very tired. Ah, what is that? That's the clown face, you guys. It's the Joker. The Joker's <laughs> face. Oh, gosh. I think I just had a nightmare. What happened? Wait, why are they playing piggy music? They're playing piggy theme music. <laughs> what the heck? I think that's because George Pig's here. They know that George Piggy is out here in the campsite. You kids are very bold to step on my grounds. I will get back what was taken from me now. Oh, that's the Joker right there. It's the ghost of the Joker. Now, what's going on out here? What was all that ruckus all night? Did you get any sleep? No, dude, there was a crazy Joker that woke us up, and I think it's Mr. Longneck. What do you guys think? Hmm, some wild imaginations that you all have. Or that food must have expired. Uh, don't tell your parents. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the exploring. We're burning daylight. Dude, it's like 5 in the morning. What do you mean we're burning daylight? We just woke up. Okay, now we gotta walk to that spooky cave that they specifically put a sign up that said, Do not enter. Sir Longneck, first off, why do I have my flashlight out? I don't need that. It's broad daylight. And second of all, why are we going to this cave, man? I don't even want to go in here. Oh, it is kind of spooky in here, guys. But you know what? I'm not afraid, all right? George Piggy has been through way too much to be afraid of a cave. Even though it is really dark and... Uh, yeah, at least there, there's a doge in front, so if anything happens, it's probably gonna happen to the doge because he's the first one in there. Careful, doge, you might fall in the hole. Whoa, you guys, look, what is that stuff on the wall right there? Wow, we went pretty far. Does anyone remember the way out? Uh, yeah, it's like right back there. We just went straight. Yeah, uh, wait, what's that on the walls? Let me see if I understand what it's trying to say. <laughs> Look at this girl crawling. That's the girl that was doing the backflips. Hundreds of years ago, there was a jester. He was rumored to dabble in the arts of dark magic. How can this guy know what this whole thing says? It was said that he plotted until the king sent his three strongest court wizards to lock him away for eternity. Doing so would free the prisoner who would surely cause destruction to the world as revenge. What? Whoa, this is cool, man. Look at those lanterns. We're sealed and shut. I guess there's no turning back now. Oh my gosh. Okay, everyone, stick together. It's okay. We'll be all right. Don't get too excited. I think this was someone's final resting place. Well, uh, there's probably somebody locked up in here. Oh no. You guys, that's obviously the jester's coffin. Duh, that's the Jester's coffin, and his soul came out of it. Uh, oh. You guys, I think the cave's gonna collapse. What? This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Hello, anyone there? Come closer. <laughs> Rude. I consider myself a mouse, but anyways, I'm so happy to see you here. I think somebody called M Miska a rat. Dude, uh, what are you, and how can you even talk? Well, you see, I was exploring these ruins in hopes to make a great dis- Okay, I'm not gonna keep talking in that voice. Anyways, after falling down some holes, I ended up in this room. All I remember now was the room filling up with purple gas, then I woke up, and here I was, in the form of a mouse. What? That's crazy. Have you seen anyone lurking around here, and how can we help? Totally not far out. Anyways, I saw some weird looking vials sitting on a shelf somewhere around here as well. Maybe you can find one. All right, let's go and find the vials, guys. Apparently, we have to do another chore. Whenever we jump into these games, we always have to do chores. Uh, this looks like some kind of creepy torture table. Yeah, I'm not gonna stand on that, you guys. George Piggy does not want to get tortured today. We've got it. Here you go. Okay, somebody found the vial and they gave it, I think, the mouse. Oh, that's Miska. And I don't think she's a mouse anymore. 
Finally, I'm out of that tiny little body. I could still go for a piece of cheese, though. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. At last, you meet face to face with me. Jovial the Jester. What? You let my little pet mouse out? I will not have this. No. Is that how... Am I saying his name right? Oh, my gosh. She just turned her back into a mouse. Let's play a little game, shall we? Entertain me and try to figure out this riddle. What's purple rises up to the sky and takes you somewhere? Oh, uh, I didn't know this was gonna be a pop quiz. Nice hat, though. <laughs> Guys, we have to get out of here. The toxic smoke is rising. I think we have to do a little obby action here. Yep, we gotta escape up the big purple crystals. Because the toxic smoke is rising, and of course, I'm the one that falls. <gasps> oh my gosh. No, don't put me in a little mouse cage, please. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, we can get out of here, guys. This is extremely easy, but for some reason, I make it harder than it is. Bah! Okay, there we go. We made it up top. Let's just uh, get across these rocks. Don't fall in the lava, and I think we'll all be okay. Oh my gosh, people are dying. No, they're drowning in the lava. Wait, how do I even revive them? Oh my gosh, now she's dead. How do I revive? No, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! Okay, let me just try and revive them. How do I revive people? I have to buy, ro I don't even have Robux to revive them. I'm sorry, guys. No, maybe if Tussie Games gets a star code, then I can use those Robux to buy everybody back. I don't know. Well, a lot of people just died. Come on, dude, you can do it. Come on, man. Oh, rest in peace, dude. Come on, guys, we gotta, we gotta keep going. We can't worry about everybody else. I'm sorry, guys, but we don't have Robux. Uh-oh, there he is again. Oh, he's creepy, man. Hmm. Wait, what? You all survived? Well, actually, like, ten people died in the lava. They literally burned alive, dude. But, yeah. Uh, some of us survived. We're not gonna let you escape, Jovio. This is where it all ends. What? You think you little meddling kids are gonna try to stop my master plan? Try to juggle this. No! I'm actually a really good juggler in real life, but not that. I can't juggle that. What is that? Oh! Ah! Brother, stop throwing giant pink balls at me. No! Only five more seconds of this nonsense. Nobody get hit by these things. Dude, you're throwing like jawbreakers at us. Nobody even got hit by those things, man. We're not afraid of you. You slimy kids, no matter what, you went through all this work just to catch me. You've opened up the world to me. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Well, I guess according to my calculations, there is such an event where you could stop me. But oh, what am I telling you that for? It ends here. Eat more toxic gas. Dude, what is with this toxic gas, man? Just give up already, okay? We hate your toxic gas. We're not afraid of your big pink jawbreakers. Oh, no. Get out your flashlight. Oh, I'm taking damage. I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, please, no. Please don't die. Oh, no. The toxic gas is very poisonous. It's very toxic. Oh, I can finally breathe again. Come on, guys. Hurry up. You're losing health. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Please, nobody else die. Nobody else die. Oh, they're dead. They're so dead. Look how weak. Look how weak. Oh, she got out. Nice. And her. Oh, my gosh. Pringle Queen. But unfortunately, those two are going to die. No. Oh, she fell. No, it was George Pig. Choose your fate, left or right. Oh, my gosh. Pringle Queen, where should we go? Well, guys, I guess we're just going to go right because right is always right, I guess. Let's go. I was hoping you would end up here. Welcome to my lair. Dude, if I would have gone left, it was probably the same thing. This guy thinks he's got tricks up his sleeve. Oh my gosh, look how big he is. He's huge! Everyone grab a weapon. Okay, we're about to fight this guy. We got a boss fight going on. All right, guys, we can do this. Go ahead and pick up an item here. What do we got? We got some magic wands or something. What the heck are these weapons? Oh, we probably throw them at them. Take that, dude. Wait, do I? Oh, it's a wand. We cast spells on him, I guess. Oh, that does hurt him. Oh my gosh, he's hitting me with that thing. No. Oh, look at his head spinning. Oh my gosh, he's so mad. You all bested me in that fight. This is impossible. I cannot lose me, Jovial the Magnificent, to a bunch of kids. Wait, that's it? We just defeated him? That was pretty easy. Uh-oh, what if I did this? No, Jovial, I'm sorry. Please don't. No! Look at that huge scythe he's got. Are you kidding me? So what, he's the Grim Reaper now? Oh, gosh, it's so bright. What just happened? Uh-oh. 
Everything. Oh, there he goes. Where is this man going now? I'm sick of chasing this dude. He's so annoying. But we still have. Oh my gosh, look at my head. Look at my head. What the heck? Guys, what's wrong with my head? Oh, I guess it was just uh, spinning in circles, but I fixed it. Don't worry. I think I see the exit. Please don't have like boulders fall right on the exit. Please. Please, I just want to get out of here, man. Oh, the cave's gonna collapse. Hurry up, go. Come on, rainbow sprinkles. We made it out alive, I think. Yes, we made it out. Hmm, I could have sworn I brought that camera with me. Oh, well. Oh, students, hey there. You all don't look too good. Jeez, don't tell your parents. What, that you dressed up as a creepy jester and tried to kill us? Anyway, I think you'll all be fine. I hope you all got a good dose of history this week. Oh my gosh. So it was true, you guys. The story after all. Now I hope we have some mechanics in our mitts. Let's fix this bus. Seems like we will need a wheel, a wrench, and a can of oil. Everyone spread out and start hunting. Oh my gosh, dude. This is the last chore that I'm doing for Mr. Longneck, okay? I'm sick and tired of this guy. He's so annoying. There's gotta be something over here. There's an apple, a water bottle, a cheeseburger. Dude, I'm starving. I'm about to eat that cheeseburger. Okay, so we found the can of oil as well, but where's the wrench? All we need is the wrench, and then we can finally fix this crazy broken bus. So the can of oil was right here. But where is this wrench, man? We can't find the wrench anywhere. Sir Longneck, do you have the wrench? Oh my gosh, you guys, it's right here. It was behind the bus the whole time. Oh my gosh, what an adventure. This was crazy. George Pig had one crazy adventure. Uh, for some reason, the bus is empty. Uh-oh. Oh, brother just got blasted by the bus. That's what you get, dude, for being such a creepy joker jester clown thing. We just got the badge award. We got the bad ending. So I guess if you went left in the cave, it would give you the good ending. Well, you guys, we are finally back home. Luckily, George Pig survived that entire time. I'm so proud of my strong team that I was with. That was absolutely amazing. If you guys enjoyed this gesture story, the game link will be listed down below in the description box. It's such an amazing story game. I loved it. If you guys loved it, smack the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring that bell down below. That way you guys never miss a single video from me every single day. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.